day, at the end of the day, you know I love you. Nobody find Oh baby, no day Nobody Nobody I'm back. And I said I'm back. And I said I'm back. <laughs> yeah. What's up, pretty pretty gang? I know y'all miss me and stuff. It's a lot of stuff going on right now. Yeah, I was not I was I was I was unable to recall like like for the past few months cause finals elections cool everything was just in the way but now it's summer break and i'm back for y'all how y'all feel about that i'm back i know y'all glad to see me i know y'all glad to see me yeah as you guys can see i'm back Hold on. my lips are so dry just now i just got pretty dry all right i'm good So today guys we'll be talking about Are you guys ready for what is coming? I know y'all not ready. Today is a story time 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 story time time. So I was gonna make this video like after I graduate high school, but I feel no need to do that because I'm really about to be in the tour. Y'all comment below what you're about to be here for 2019-2020 section. Y'all come below what grade you about to be here next year. I'm about to be a senior next school year. So I really feel like I can just do this video now and just upload this video. So this is a story time on how I got bullied in ninth grade. Yes, I was bullied. Oh, it's part of life. It's part of life. It's part of life. It's part of life. So then, so then, so then, oh, uh, oh. Uh. So then I just like came from like Africa and um I was so ready for school to be honest with you. I was so ready for school. Yeah, I know my room looks like what what they just went in there. I know I was like I was so ready for school, like I was so hyped, I was so I was just so happy, you know what I'm saying guys? I was so happy, like I just wanna like go to school, meet new people, I was so ready to like mingle and shit. So so yeah, so so i was still thinking african so i was still dressing the way i would dress if i was going to school at Africa. oh my god look at my friends though they can't hear me when i says i from to the from the window man this dude is fine i'm just one so so like I was always ready so first day of school came through first day of high school first day of being a freshman was yeah i don't even know the color the color of freshman all i knew was that like, i'm in ninth grade i was so hot the first day of school bro if you if you if you legit a nigerian girl and you know you went to secondary school in nigeria you know one thing though once you put on the white powder and some lip gloss you, you feel like you're cute so i did that i did that you know what i'm saying i did i, I put some white powder and some lip gloss and i was feeling fly as hell because my skirt was like fly as hell i had that i pressed that joint my socks was white as hell my shoes was clean as hell and you know you go to school in africa like, it was like a comp it was like so compulsive for you to like have a really 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 white socks and really really shiny shoes whether black or brown the really really shiny ones so i was i was like that i was getting ready for school i was so so First day of school was not even that serious. I didn't really feel bullied as even though I was bullied. So first day of school, everybody was looking at me like, where the hell did she come from? Where where on the face of this hate did she fall from? I didn't really know why they was standing at me. To me, I was looking cute. I was catching, you know what I'm saying? But today, I was a little weird when I came to school with a hashy face. First day of school. The hashy face, because I had white powder on her. You know what I'm saying, but so that day I didn't really put in my attention to her, and then somebody just walked her me like I think she's Nigerian too. She is Nigerian, and she comes to me. She dragged me into the bathroom. And she was like, "What are you doing?" 
And I'm like, what do you mean what I'm what am I doing? I'm going I'm trying to find my classes, I'm trying to find my class. Like what do you mean what am I doing? I'm, I'm doing what everybody else is doing. And she was like, No, you don't do that, you don't wear wild powder. And I'm like, girl, why are you telling me what to do? What you mean I can't wear white powder? And she was like, you look ashy. And I'm like, what is ashy? She was like, oh my God, you don't know what ashy? I was like, I don't know what it is. What is ashy? And she was like, you look like you did not rub no lotion. And I was like, no, I did. Like, I actually used Vaseline. Like, I was feeling myself. I thought I actually used baby hair. Because <laughs> I actually did that money. I used baby hair. Because I was there... Like, I'm still black. Like, I always, like, love coconut oil, every, anything organic, though. That's what I use for my body, because I hardly rub all that extra shit on my body. But this coconut oil, organic oil, baby, oil, I'm like, man, I be rubbing them on my body. So I was like, yeah, I rub them. She was like, no, you have to wash your face right now. And I'm like, no, I don't want to wash my face. I feel cute. And she was like, no, you're not cute. I'm going to give you, I'm going to make you wipe your face right now, and I'm going to give you some lip gloss, but you are not wearing that white powder. And I was like, okay, 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 okay. So she wrapped out the white powder and she like gave me a lip gloss and I snapped my lip gloss right back on. I didn't really feel cute after she did that to me. Like my stuff is still like dropped because everybody thought I was ashy and I was feeling cute. You know what I'm saying? But then so later her next time goes her stunt goes on. I had no friends, y'all. Right now, I would say I had no friends. Basically, I won't say I had no friends. I had this bunch of African girls, but then they never see me as the friend. I always felt like I was stagging. Like, I was just a button to them. Like, I always felt like, I always felt like, I was just, like, disturbing them. I was making them feel uncomfortable and shit. So, I never felt like they was my friend. And they, I know they never felt the same way about me. They, I know they felt the same way about me, like, I'm not their friend and stuff. So, I was just like, oh, my God. So, let me now take you guys to the point where I started feeling bullied. Like, people would literally walk up to me. And tell me, oh, you smell like African. And I'm like, what? What does African smell like? I don't know. I'm lost. And then I had a very thick accent. Like, and I still have my accent right now. But then it was so strong. <laughs> oh, la la. Then it was so strong, like, as hell. So every time I'm saying stuff to people, they be like, I can't understand you. Can you speak more? Like, and I'm like, how do you want me to speak? This is how I've learned how to speak. This is how I've been speaking for my whole life. And then let me bust your bubble. I was not the youngest in class. Oh, Lord, no. That made me feel so out of place. I was the youngest because I was 12 in the ninth grade. You get what I'm saying? Which is basically not, it's not stuff that usually happen in America. I was 12 in the ninth grade. So I was like, and like, so... So one day we was going through the attendance in my RTC class and then she called me uh she was like, What year are you born again? I was like, two thousand and three. And she was like, What? I was she was like, How old are you again? I was like, I'm twelve and she was like, Are you sure you come to the right school? And I was like, Sis, I know you see my name on your damn computer. <laughs> Ask me that damn question. I know you see my name on your computer. And then everybody heard I my head, like everybody found out I my head. So it started going through in the school, it started going through like a white fire, like everybody like people would come up to me and be like, Girl, you belong in middle school, why the fuck you think you're here? Like all those stuff like that. Like, they would make me feel like they made me feel like I was like I they made me feel like I did not belong. And honestly I did not belong because I had no friends. I was alone. It was me against the old school. So I started feeling bullied, and this month, like, it's trying, it's trying, it's trying to get emotional, right? Like, it's trying to get emotional, like, pretty, pretty emotional, because I went through a lot. So, let me take you out to, like, the worst part of my life, the worst day of my life. So, that bullied me to the point where it's like, I don't go to class no more, because I felt like, whenever I go to class, people always ask something to say to me. They always felt like I was different. They always felt like, Phew. and guess what? When I was going through all of this fight, I did not open up to nobody. Not here with my mother. I did not open up to nobody. Like, I feel like I got this, but I, like, I don't. I don't have this. I don't. Like, to be sincere, I was actually going through it. But I wanted to feel like, I wanted to feel like, I wanted to feel like I can, I can fix myself. I can make this, I can make this work. And to be honest, if I had told people about me, like, what I really am, I probably would make more friends, but they'll be fake friends. So I was not willing to tell anybody what I really was, what I really am, and stuff like that. And it's still gonna stay undercover because some people knows what I am and some people don't. 
it is what it is. I don't really tell people what I really have, but I really have something. But that's not the main title. That's not the main discussion for this video. So, so one day I was just in the bathroom on the rag, skipping class, cause I was not finna go to class and let people say something to me. So I was just like in the bathroom. I was in the bathroom. I was in the bathroom and then this girls walked up to me and it was like today is Friday right we don't want you back in our school by Monday and I looked at them I was like what you mean you don't want me back in school on Monday and it was like we don't want you here you, we don't, you don't belong here go die go do something go come in suicide go die just go go away and I was like oh my god this is too much like at that point it was too much for me it was I was going through hell at that point like I'm trying my best not to cry right now but <laughs> I was going through hell at that point and I was, at that point, I was like am I supposed to just go home and tell my mother oh mommy I, I don't want to go to that school no more okay why I, I was not going to tell her I was getting bullied no I was not like, I literally went from the girl that everybody loves so much, that everybody want to be friends with her, everybody want to be around her, to the girl where everybody's like, stuck away from her, you trash, you are this, you are that. Like, it was like a whole flip for me, like, a whole flip. So I, I didn't know how to handle that. I didn't know how to handle it. And I really wanted to play sport that year. I really wanted to play sports. I really wanted to play sport that year. Because I'm, I'm just like, I'm, I'm sporty. I, I love doing stuff after classes. I really want to play sport. So I joined the basketball team. Oh my god, that was the worst nightmare. I shouldn't have done that. I shouldn't have. I shouldn't have. That was like the worst thing that happened to me. Even the coach was bullying me. So. Okay, so. I joined the team and the, the coach looked at me like, Ugh, do you think you can be on my team? And I was like, I really won't join this thing, but because my mom said basketball would be good for me because I was tall, because I am tall, you know what I'm saying? A bitch got long legs. And he looked at me like, you know what I want on my team, but I think you can't turn down nobody. Bitch got that try because I didn't go for the trial though, because I was just so scared, because I know I can't shoot, I can't handle the ball, so I was just so scared somebody was going to laugh at me and stuff, so I didn't even go to the trial, I went to join after the trial because they said you could still join after the trial and then it looked at me like oh what are you so every time i go to practice people would throw balls at me on purpose hit me with the ball on purpose like this girl literally hit the ball at my stomach on purpose and I was just like, oh no, I can't take it no more. I cannot, I, I couldn't. I was really about to give up on everything. So let me not, let me not, let me not remind you that I joined the team that Friday. These girls came to me to leave the school because I was just like, what are they talking about? So the next Monday, Monday, yeah, Monday, I was in the bathroom on the reg and stuff like that. I was not gonna go to class. <laughs> I'm not gonna go to class. Cause if I go to class, somebody will call me ugly. Somebody will call me stank. Somebody will call me African. Somebody will call me um that. Somebody will call me this. Somebody will call me that. Somebody will call me this. And I was tired of that. You know what I'm saying? I was tired. So when I came to the bathroom, and guys, <laughs> you know what was crazy? One of these girls from Nigeria. One of them was from, was from Nigeria. And I just looked at her like, are you really gonna do stuff like this to somebody that you know them well when you first came to this country, you went through something like this, that was not up there. Are you gonna do the same thing to me? So to make that long story short, I got jumped in the bathroom. I got jumped. I got jumped like I literally had no help. Like if it was me and some people were against them, maybe the security would have came in. But it was just me. I had to silently take the beating. 
I mean, I could have fought back, but look at this. One against three people. I couldn't do that. I was, I was going to get beat up regardless. So I took the beating. I, I took the beating. I did. I did. I really wanted to say something. I wanted to say something, but it was hard. So I went to see. I went to see the counselor on a Tuesday. Like I had bruises on my face on that Tuesday. I had bruises, and when somebody asked me, I was like, "Oh no, I fell off the bed." The fuck? My bed was so fucking low. How the fuck did I fall off the bed? I don't even have no fucking. How the fuck did I fall? So. I was like, I told the guest, I was like, I'm getting bullied, like, verbally, emotionally, and all this counselor would say to me was like, just let it go, they will always do it anyways, and I was like, like, I literally had my head on this table like this, and I was like, this is crazy, and you know what was crazy about this whole crazy shit? The teachers was also a bully. <laughs> These teachers were her bully. They're bully students too. And they had favorite. I don't have problem with you having favorite and stuff like that. But why you having favorite when you hurt other student? Like this teacher. So let me tell you about this stupid teacher. I'm gonna say her name because most people know her. Her name is Miss Robinson. She was like my tech technology, whatever the fuck she is teacher. And then, then I, I, I couldn't, I, I don't know how to use a phone. I, I don't even know what, what I was living here in Africa if I even came here. I don't know how to put that even know how, I don't even know how to use a phone. I don't know how to use a phone. I don't know how to, how to use a computer. And let me tell you this. When I, went, when I was in Africa, I was a girl that was like straight up like from school to getting picked up by my drivers to going home. <laughs> Nothing else. Like, I don't be sneaking out with my sisters. I was like so dedicated at school. Like, I was dedicated like i had multiple scholarships like i was gonna go to i was gonna go to uni lag as like their youngest their youngest on the semester student like i don't even i was supposed to go to university of lagos like as the youngest youngest students in other in, in the honor level whatever that for because then i was gonna be f i think 13 or 14 in other level so I was kind of like the youngest, you get what I'm saying? Like, a girl was already in SS3 and she was 12 years old in Nigeria. But I came here, like, I don't want to go to university like that. I want to go to university now, yeah. But then I was going to do this shit because they put me back. So, 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 the Miss Robinson, so I was like, so she gave us this work on computer. And uh, I, I didn't, I don't even know how to start this computer. I don't even know how to log in. Please help me, help my life, help my soul and body, help me. So I went to her, I didn't want everybody to know I came to a computer. You know how embarrassing that would be because everybody was like so focused on the computer. I, that was so embarrassing. So I'm like, excuse me, I was so respectful. Excuse me, ma'am, can you help me with my computer? And guess what this teacher said? She said, no. <laughs> that's cool, that's cool. But later, came in and like, and then a dumb student is gonna walk up to me and tell me, teach me how to log onto a computer. Did she really just call me dumb? Did she really just call me dumb? I felt I I felt out of this world. Like when she said that, when she called me dumb, I felt stabbed. Like I felt like I felt like I was stopped and stopped and stopped over and over and over and over and over and over again with words. It was killing me, you know. Let me not tell, forget to say that. After I stopped going to class, right, my grades started dropping. Pew, 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 pew. My grades started dropping. Like they really dropped like some kind of, some kind of, some kind of sports parachute. Like you know how you use a parachute and then you spot on it. Pew. My grades dropped, and then I had a one point in ninth grade, and I was like, "Wow, wow!" I felt so embarrassed. I couldn't face my mother because 
I really could not face my mother because I was not supposed to show her my report card. Knowing him when I had a one point so as a GPA. And on a norm, I was a student with straight A's. And maybe one B because I don't like math. I never passed math with a hit. But I'm coming back having all D's and one E in English. Because English was like the worst class. There's this girl named Alexis in there. She made life miserable for me. <laughs> this, <laughs> these people even pressured me. So I pressured my mother to get me a phone. To get me a phone. That was how worse this story is, bro. But to be honest, no matter how much I think about it now, and even though it makes me cry, I feel like it's tears of joy to be honest. Like those are the stories I can tell and be like, yes, after I got with high school, yes, I made it too. That was why I wanted to make this video after I got work. Cause I'm gonna be like, I made it through high school. Even though y'all tried y'all hardest to like bring me down, I made it through. Like I did. I did. So that video was like my recovery year. So I was having like two points, three point four. It was like my recovery year was like two point six, two point nine, three point four, three point one. It was like my recovery year. Ten point was like my recovery year. And eleventh grade, I snapped back to number, baby. I'm back to number. Eleventh grade, I was back to number. Eleventh grade, I had a three point seven, three point eight, four point one, and then. All this final exam brought down my grades to a three point one for fourth quarter. I did not even care. It was fourth quarter, baby, and I still had a three point two. Period, poo. Period, poo. So, guys, I know there's somebody out there somewhere going through this. One thing I want you to always keep in mind is that you are never in nothing alone, and no matter what always speak up like that was one thing i did not do that was one thing i wanted to do that was one thing i i, I, I had no chance to do that I, I i i had nobody to confide in it was nobody for me to confide in like i was lost i was alone my mom was not willing to listen to me because my grades were dropping i couldn't talk to her i couldn't tell her she just was bullying me i couldn't tell her that she was gonna be like oh it's just kind of excuse because you're failing but no, it's not an excuse, baby girl. I'm actually feeling it because I'm being bullied. Like, but let me not tell you what occurs to me, to my health, than I had. <laughs> yes, I had bipolar disorder. Bipolar disorder. Yes, I have bipolar disorder. I have bipolar disorder. It's not as serious as, as it used to be in 10th grade because in 10th grade one minute i'm happy one minute i'm just like lashing out of people like leave me alone you don't like me anyways you're just so fake anyways you just want to be around me because of one you like you're hard hard and disorder but now it's getting better because now it's like i'm always around positive energy because watch me whenever i'm like around a very very net like a very very negative energy like like people are starting to like about to start a fight about to start a fight and shit like that like i get frustrated like, i don't like bust out crying and shit even if it's not my business i just bust out crying because i'm going through stuff in my head too yeah i had a disorder and for a while my blood pressure was kind of high but it came back to normal but i knew my blood pressure was kind of high Cause all of a sudden I started having chest pain. Like ten day I was going through a lot, but I was never this kind of girl that loved going to hospitals like that. So I was never gonna tell my mom and mommy chest pain. So do not call me and go hospital. So I was having chest pains, and I have a video of 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 me in the school bathroom when I coughed out blood. I don't know what that means, but I know it was due to me overthinking stuff and um. Uh, and then the chest pain but now guys now this is not to everybody I don't 
everybody had that. Nobody can tell you who you hurt. Nobody needs to tell you who you hurt. What they say don't make you who you hurt. You might be too black or too white for people that don't want you, but for the highest that want to be with you and for the person that want to stay around you, you're perfect. Your ass might be too thick or too deep for them, but in the eyes of people that want to listen to you, it is perfect. There's one thing though, not everybody gonna like you. Not everybody gonna wanna fuck with you. And that was one thing I did not understand in ninth grade. Not everybody gonna like you. Not everybody gonna wanna fuck with you. You just have to be like, if your stupid shit is not gonna pay me some bags, then I don't got time for that. And freshmen, no matter what happens to you guys, no matter what happened, no matter how much you face, as a freshman in high school, don't you ever stop going to class. Because I'm telling you, your freshman year is your foundation. And if your foundation is not solid, then basically your whole beauty cannot stay firm. I'm telling you guys this. Don't let nobody define you. Don't let them tell you who you hurt. Whoever you how whoever you're gonna be, it lies in your hands. This is as you lay your bed, you sleep on it. Whoever you're gonna be should be in your hands. Don't let your friends tell you who you're gonna be. Don't let them tell you who you're not gonna be. Don't let them tell you you cannot do it. Because when these people came up to me and tell me I can never become SGA vice president, I am now. I am the I am the vice president. Like then I was really gonna back that because they came up to me and be like, you know, you don't got no cloud, you don't got another dad, you can't be this president. And I told them, I'm like, one thing you don't understand is that, yes, I don't got no clout. Because, you guys don't know the fact, even if I don't got no clout, I'm still the clout. I don't know if you understand, but, yeah. I'm not clout chasing. I'm not chasing people to be around me. If you around me, ugh, bitch, I fuck with you. Like, my friends know I have their back, thing, big, whatever. If you want, if you want to find a bitch, Bitch, come your face time. Let me know where that bitch is. We're running up. We're finding them together. We in everything together. My friends and I, we are like this. Like, we are like so close. Like, if I call you my friend, you my everything. You my everything. Like, but still, whenever you're going through something, I feel like the best solution is for you to have somebody you can open up to because that makes you feel like kind of like believed. I had nobody to talk to, so it made everything haul up in my head and everything. But if you have somebody to talk to, that's that's better. That's that's better. That that is better. Just find somebody to talk to. And don't you ever, don't you ever, don't you ever let them tell you who you hurt. I think that's all for today's video. And I'll be back with more story time, vloggy vlog, pranks, challenge. I love you guys. It's your girl, pretty patty. It's your girl, pretty patty. It's your girl, pretty patty. I'll be back with another video. Bye. Peace. Okay, my video was not going to stop recording.